let us perform the following um, integration to find the areas. At first, the integral from 0 to 1 of x cubed dx. Secondly, the integral from negative 1 to 0 of x cubed dx. And then, integral from negative 1 to 1 of x cubed dx. And see what these will yield. Now, the integral from negative, no, from 0 to 1 of x cubed dx is going to be, remember when you integrate x cubed, you're going to get x to the fourth. You add 1 to the 3 to get 4, which is the new power. Then you divide by that new power 4. You have your square brackets and you're going from 0 to 1. You don't need to add a constant of integration here because it will eventually subtract itself because we're doing definite integration. We integrate the boundaries where we start, start at 0. And the other boundary where we end, we end at 1. So it's definite integration. So here, we substitute 1, the upper boundary, which is 1 for x, 1 to the 4th divided by 4, minus, then we substitute the lower boundary 0, 0 to the 4th divided by 4, equals 1 to the 4th power is 1. <coughs> so we have 1 over 4 minus 0 to the 4 is 0. 0 over 4 is 0. So what we get is a quarter. See that? Now, let's look at question number 2. We find the integral from negative 1 to 0 of x cubed dx. So what we have is x to the 4th over 4 from negative 1 to 0. Here, the upper boundary is 0. So we substitute 0 to the 4th over 4 minus, and we substitute negative 1 to the 4th over 4. That's equal to 0 to the 4th is 0. 0 divided by 4 is 0. That's 0 minus negative 1 to the 4th is positive 1. There is a quarter. Alright? 0 minus a quarter is equal to negative a quarter. Hmm. Let me put in this unit square. Unit square. And we have negative a quarter. Unit square. Interesting that we have a negative value here, but we will examine it later on and look at it and see what's happening. So here now, we have the integral from negative 1 to 1 of x cubed dx. What does that all give us? Right? So we have x to the 4th over 4, just as before, because we're integrating x cubed from negative 1 to 1, equal we substitute the upper boundary 1, so it's 1 to the power of 4 over 4, minus, we substitute the lower boundary, negative 1, negative 1 to the 4th over 4, equals 1 to the 4th is 1, so it's a quarter minus, negative 1 to the 4th is 1, and it's a quarter, equals 0. Now, here, this is saying 0 unit square. So let us take a look at the graph and see what's going on. Suppose we have our x-axis and our y-axis. Then we say, what does the graph of y equal x cube look like? Well, if you plot it, let me just do that again. You, all right, you will see that it looks somewhat like this, all right? Oh. Oh, no. What happened here? Let me just 
refine this part somewhat like this so here we have our negative one we have our zero and we have our one now here integral from zero to one is a quarter so what it is saying is that this area under here is a quarter unit square then we're going from negative one to zero so when we look at that we see that this region right here is negative a quarter why is it negative and this one positive well you can see that when you integrate from 0 to 1, we have a positive value. It's positive here because it's above the x-axis. And this is a negative a quarter, negative a quarter square units because it is below the x-axis. So that's why it's a negative. Then we, when we go straight across, from negative 1 to 1 we get 0 because they cancel out the negative a quarter and the positive a quarter cancel out each other we get 0 even though what you when you reason out this the real area for it when you go from negative 1 to 1 is really half so, the thing is, what the, what the integration did was to say negative a quarter plus a quarter equals zero. But this area, since it's an area, you consider the modulus of that value. So we want the modulus of the quarter so that instead of zero, we say the area is a quarter plus a quarter, which is half. So going straight across from negative one to one is a half unit squared, two times a quarter. All right? So the thing is, if you get an integral where the boundaries cross the zero, for example, from negative one, to 1 or from negative 1 to 2 from negative 1 to 3 whatever it is from negative 2 to 2 from negative 2 to some other value as long as it goes across the 0 some part of it is on the left some part of it is on the right don't just integrate straight what you need to do is integrate from the negative value to zero right down the area then you integrate from zero to the positive value so in this case what you want to do is integrate from negative two to zero of whatever it is plus then integrate from zero to three of f of x now, if it is just x to a positive value, power, like the previous um, video, when we integrated x squared, you know that it's not going to cancel out anything. No part of x squared falls below the x-axis. But if you're not sure, or if you know that part of it will fall below the x-axis, to play it safe, just go from the negative value, integrate, break up the function in two parts, from the negative value to zero, write down the area to get as a positive value. Then integrate from zero to the positive value and write down the area at the two areas. All right? So that's what you have for um, when you integrate going across from negative to positive boundaries.